Static electricity is the result of charge separation, charge accumulation, and finally, charge discharge. Charge separation takes place when any two substances are rubbed against one another. This could take place in the clouds when water droplets move against one another, or on board vessels when our hands move against any surface, or inside pipelines when a liquid flows through them. This charge will then tend to recombine with the separated charge or find its way to the earth. For some reason, if the charges do not recombine or do not find way to earth, they tend to accumulate on the surface of various objects. This accumulated charge, after some time, may then discharge in the form of a spark. Let us now examine some operations on tankers which pose serious threat to safety due to static electricity. As the cargo flows through the pipes and enters the tank at a fast rate, the cargo carries with it the charge, and this turbulence on entry into the tank causes a mist to be formed. This charged mist deposits the charge on sharp ends inside the tank, such as the nozzle of the fixed tank cleaning machine, high-level alarm probes, or any other sharp structures inside the tank. This is particularly evident for static accumulator cargoes, such as white petroleum distillates like kerosene, gas oil, and naphtha. As the tank cleaning water enters into the tank through the fixed tank cleaning machine, the separated charge accumulates at the nozzle tip. Even when portable tank cleaning machines are used, there is an accumulation of the electrostatic charge at the nozzle tip. Static accumulator cargoes 
such as kerosene or styrene monomer, do not allow the accumulated charge to be earthed rapidly. Hence, any introduction of metallic objects, such as sounding bob or sampler, could lead to a static discharge. When steam is introduced into a tank, this leads to a rapid accumulation of static charge at the discharge nozzle or hose. The accumulated charge, if not allowed to recombine or flow to earth, will lead to a discharge of the same in form of a spark. This, in turn, will lead to an explosion in an inflammable atmosphere. Now let us see the precautions we need to take for preventing any explosion or hazard occurring due to static electricity. If the tank is not inerted at the start of loading of cargo, the loading rate should be kept at a maximum of one meter per second till such time the loading pipe is not submerged to allow the generated charges to recombine or flow to earth. If the tank is not inerted and the vessel is loading static accumulated cargo, the bonded ullage bob or the sampler should not be allowed inside the tank for a period of at least 30 minutes after the cargo loading has been stopped. This precaution is not necessary if the sounding bob or sampler is lowered in a full depth sounding pipe. When using portable machines, the continuity of the tank cleaning hoses is to be checked prior to use and ensure the same is not more than 6 ohms per meter length. The bonding wire fitted inside the tank cleaning hose is the purpose of carrying the charge to the earth and not allowing any buildup of charge at the nozzle tip of the tank cleaning machine. When carrying out steaming of the tank, ensure the tank is in gas-free condition.
To avoid any accumulation of charge on the surface of the pipelines, all pipelines on deck are provided with continuity bands in way of the insulating flanges. The static charge generated on rubbing of the hands with other objects is generally not sufficient to cause a spark. All equipment such as the UTI or MMC tapes needs to be bonded 